after a few years after we, uh, I was in Rotary, it seemed like I was doing a lot of traveling and I kept missing a lot of meetings. So they decided, that, I don't know if I was 75 or whatever, but they made me an honorary member. So I don't, we didn't have to do any attendance and still be a Rotary, a Rotarian. So that's how that happened. And uh, he kept hounding me. He said, Jerry, start a rotary club in Spruce Grove. Start a rotary club in Spruce Grove. So finally, one day, I said, okay, I'll start one in, in Spruce Grove. So I got one off the ground. Apparently, two or three people tried to start one four or five years or six years previous, but never got it off the ground. So anyway, I, I got the people I knew that I were dealt with and uh, people I knew in the, in, the, in the town here. I said, you know, let's... Let's get a Rotary Club going. So we got, I think we started with about 20 some, 20, 30 members. And that's how that got started. If it wasn't for Jeff Balovic, I would have never started a Rotary Club. Well, I think it, it started out that uh, Jeanette Fear was another one, and Bruce Fear. Yeah, they they uh, joined the Rotary Club. Uh, it was local people that I, that I knew and, and uh, you know, had da not daily contact with, but a lot of contact with, and started saying, well, I think we started with about six people. And I, today I can't remember which six it was, but uh, probably Ken Zender was one. Maybe Kent Takata that was here at the time. He was a partner of mine in uh, Thomas Bus. So, but there was six of us that started, and from that we just those six brought in other members, and we just got it off the ground. Finally, we had about 20, 30 members, and we had our first meeting. Got interested in doing it. I was telling the people that in most Rotarian clubs. The shakers and movies, movies, shakers and move, movers of any town or city, usually belong to a Rotary Club. So that's how I got the ball rolling. You know, like, and of course we, and then we got somebody in every field to join. Like Ken Zender, Ken Zender and I were both car dealers. Uh, but outside of that, you know, there was a dentist, a you know, lawyer, and. and that's how it got started. So he was trying to get the first lawyer to join because the second one couldn't join and getting an accountant to join because the second one wouldn't join. So that's how we got her off the ground. Well, it's supposed to be the whole group, the whole original group were, were known to each other. I don't think in the first 20 or 30 members, we somebody didn't know, we, we all knew each other. In, Maybe I didn't know everybody, but somebody in, our, in that group knew each other. So it was a close-knit group. Because we were sponsored by the Mayfield Club, and I think he was, he was originally with the Mayfield Club, so that's, he came out to help organize the first meeting. And, uh, and, he, and then he would come, he came out for maybe, for a couple of months, he'd he come out every time to uh, you know, get it off the ground, how to do the luncheons, and you know, uh, helped us get off the ground. And uh, he was a good, uh, he was a good person to have around because none of us knew anything about Rotary. You know, it wasn't like three ex Rotarians that came here and started one. We were all green at the at this ball game, so. There was nobody in our club that was an ex-Rotarian at that point in time. We were all new Rotarians, so uh, we needed his help to, you know, getting the different committees organized and things like that, getting somebody to head everything. But it uh, worked out well. Good. Uh, it was a ski boat, a real nice ski boat, and okay. in fact, we had the franchise for that boat. So uh, we had a boat, and I said, why don't we raffle off the boat? And I think the tickets were going to be, I could be wrong, but they were $100 a piece or $50 a piece. 
And a lot of people in the club said, oh, you never sell them. And uh, I said, well, you know, we'll sell so many tickets. And, uh, and, it, and one, of, one of my salesmen by the name of Keith Schultz was a, uh, a member. I think Keith sold 70% of the tickets. <laughs> But we sold a lot of tickets, and uh, we, that was the first fundraiser. And I think we, I, I forget, I think we made about $10,000 on this boat. And, uh, and in fact, one of the members in the club won the bait, boat, but it was uh, a relative or something in Saskatchewan. Is that not one boat, I think, if I'm not mistaken? I'm not sure. But anyways, it, somebody connected with one of our members won the boat, either of some kind of a relative. Danny Hooper at the first one, yeah. and Danny Hooper, and this was the first time he did a lobster fest, and this was the start of his career as doing uh, uh, fundraisers. Is this club right here? Now he's done, he's done, uh, uh, he's done auctioneering for uh, I think a lot of rotary clubs and a lot of other clubs, and he's a good fundraiser. It's like a, the lobsters should have been in town at five o'clock or something, and it either missed the flight or the, or the flight was canceled. So the, the the caterers were there with steaks, but no lobsters. So it started out well. No, well I don't know if, we, if the steaks were there because it's going to be a lobster dinner. But anyway, no, it's going to be steak and lobster. So anyway, it's, it's, the first one was just steaks, and the lobsters came about by eight o'clock at night or something. We got the lobsters. And then everybody had to eat again and eat lobster. So that was the first one. And then it continued from there, steak and lobster. <laughs> At the time we had our first, first meeting, it was, might, might have been May the 1st or something. No, it would have been earlier than that, maybe April. Or, I, didn't, I was the president for three months and then the, the time was up. So then I think Ken Zender took over after I did. So I was the only president for three months. So I think I was the shortest reigning president of Rotary. <laughs> that that impressed me the most because when when we did the exchange student, and I think we did one the first year or the second year, and we'd send we'd send somebody out. I don't know how, you know they were selected by three or four kids in town or students. And they, those kids had to come to the Rotary Club and make a speech, and you'd see what they were like. And then whoever went away to whatever country we sent them to, when they got back, they had to come up. They had to come back to our Rotary Club, which is like ten months later, and do another speech. And you, you can't imagine the difference between when that when that person left and when that person came back. It was like night and day. And I think the same thing would work in reverse with the kids that were coming to our club. You know, they came probably the same way, and when they went back home, back home, their parents and their cohorts back there, it wasn't the same person coming back. And I think traveling and exchange student, that's got to be the best thing that Rotary's done for the international part of Rotary. And probably 90% of those kids are parents. The other thing that happened with this exchange student thing is the kids that would come in, their parents would come in during that year and visit. And then some, some of the parents that these kids were living with were invited to go to their place, wherever they came from. So a lot of that was going on. So that you had the students involved, and then you had the parents that were looking after these, or the families that were looking after these people, in either in either country going back and forth, which extended the the interrelationship beyond that. I remember one girl came here from, I forget what country she was from, and she went back. She invited the girl from here to go there, and the girl said, "Gee, you know." I can't believe this. Really, we're chauffeur driven here. <laughs> we we don't even come in the front door of the house. This 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 girl's got her own apartment in the house. I mean, we can come and go anytime we want. 
She says, like, this is unbelievable the way this girl is living compared, and she came to Spruce Grove, this girl. When you join Rotary, I think you become, uh, you become a society, or whatever you want to call it, of the same type of people, no matter what country you're from. So I find that when you go to a foreign country or a foreign country or another city, it's the same type of people that are in the Rotarian Club. So, so you, you're, everybody welcomes you to the area. Uh, I've had fantastic experiences going around the world, going to Rotary Clubs, and, uh, uh, and I, I, every time I went, it was, you know, it was worthwhile going to the Rotary Club for lunch or a breakfast. And, uh, that's a good part of Rotary, but if you're traveling, you know that you've got a friend wherever you are, or somebody you can contact. And uh, I think the only other clubs that do that is uh, the Masons, from, because a friend of mine was a Mason that worked for me, and he, uh, he tells me that the Masons do the same thing. If you're a Mason and you go to a foreign country, all you do is phone a Mason and you're going to go out for dinner or you're, they're going to show you around or something. And I think Rotary is the same part. Now, I don't know if Rotary took this from the Masons or whatever, but the, 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 I know it works for Rotary. Mm -hmm. And it, I, I'm coming back to the first statement, I, you know, no matter what area you go to, if you go to a Rotary Club, you'll notice that the people in that club are uh, the movers and shakers of that area. You know, they're, they're, and, and a variety of people. It's not like one group of people. You're, you're, you know, there's doctors, lawyers, uh, accountants, uh, all kinds of different people in there. Uh, every profession is in there. So chances are there's somebody in that club that's in the same profession you're in that's visiting another, another club. So uh, you know, there, there's been interesting things in the vis uh, visiting other Rotary Clubs. And speakers that you hear at all the different Rotary Clubs are fantastic too. I didn't go to Rotary Club in Spruce Grove in order to get more business from Spruce Grove people. You know, if they wanted to deal with me, fine. But I, I, I didn't join a club so I get more business. I just joined a club for being a Rotarian. Uh, and uh, Rotary, as far as I'm concerned, helps you in other areas. Like, like I, I've had, I, I mentioned that. Uh, I had, to, I had to have I had to find a lawyer in Seattle. You know, I done it, I, I did it through the Rotary organization to get the right lawyer. And as a matter, matter of fact, that lawyer that we got, we had a court case against the Furmans in Washington. He flew up here and visited us. We took him up to Jasper, and he really liked Jasper. And uh, he went back, and we ended up winning the case. But without Rotary, I would have never met this law firm or this chap. And uh, we won our case in in Washington. And uh, you, you meet interesting people in any Rotary Club you go to, you're going to meet somebody that's of interest or, you know, they, they'll say, do you want to play golf or do you want to, you know, one, one meeting I was at, the guy says, you know, if you don't like your room, he was the manager of the hotel we were staying in, he says, do, do, can I, I'll upgrade you. I said, no, no, I'm okay where I am. But, I mean, the, everybody's out to help you if you're a visitor in a new, new Rotary Club. I think, I think the thing that I brought to the Warrior Club is Bruce Grove maybe uh, in the first three or four years being the driving force behind getting things done or, or, or making things happen or something, you know, uh, to helping people no matter what community they run to try and get things done. We pick something and let's get it done and let's, uh, I, th I think that's the skills that you bring as, as that I brought to the, to, to the club is uh, getting things done. Well, first of all, we got the Rotary Park, park going. So that park was just like a, the, the people that own the farm that that Rotary corner is on was donated to the town, Spruce Grove. And it was supposed to be for a recreation thing, you know, like a park or some, something. But when we got it, 
when we got involved in Rotary, we felt that that part could be improved and, and make more of a tourist attraction and people would stop or or locals go out there and just have lunch out there, park out there. So we start. We went to this. We went to the town of Spruce Grove and said, "Hey, we'll, we'll Rotary will take this thing over, and we'll maintain the park." So uh, that's how that started. And then, I think if I, my memory is correct, the Chamber of Commerce was in some building on the, off the highway here, or up in town somewhere. And we said, "Why don't we Rotary will build a building out there?" And, and the ch we will use it, uh, part of the building will use it as a meeting place for the Rotary Club, and the other thing will be the Chamber of Commerce. the building you know, and then different people in the club like uh, Expo Creek do donated some paving stones and I donated some stuff I, I had equipment so we probably used the equipment to dig and whatever uh, a lot of a lot of material was donated or we went got them donated I remember I think I went to McLeod Lumber and they donated the windows or something but anyway it, 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 we built the building and the, for a lot less money than just hiring somebody to build. So it was a joint venture after a while between the Chamber of Commerce being the, the information center for, t for uh, tourism that came through here, which was, I think, a good mix. But I think by the time he hits 2530, I think it would be a good thing for him to do. Because I think being in Rotary, he meets a, a other people in his own community. So he expands his friendship with different people. And he's learning from everybody. So, uh, and Rotarians, you know, indirectly help each other. You know, uh, I don't think he could go to Rotary. I don't think he could go to a Rotarian anywhere and say, you know, I, you know, I'd like to pick your brains about this or. You know, give me some advice on this or something, but don't bother me. I don't think that would ever happen. So I think for a young person, I think it's a good move to join uh, Rotary. I know I, 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 I got my son to, son to join Rotary. And uh, cause when you're younger, you figure, you know, there's too many other things to do and you don't want to spend your time going to lunch every week. But, uh, you know, I think it's good for for businesses, and not and you don't. It's not just good for business to get business because you don't have to be in business to be in Rotary. You can be a school teacher. You can be anything. You know. Yeah. So it, it's just expanding your friendships with different people and uh, and get being part of something. I think if you go back of ninety three, two thousand three. Like if you go back 20 some years, I think if you added up what the Rotary Club has done for this community, you'd be amazed. First of all, I think we raise over 100,000 on just on the Lobster Fest. But how much money has Rotary Club raised? How much have they done?
houses would be there, and we, we were there working on those houses. Like that was another park. That was like the building we built at the Rory Park. Like we we were there building. Even the girls were doing landscaping, planting flowers, and everything. But I think if you, if, in matter of fact, Rotary should do that, and, and I, I think uh, we should every once in a while put that in the paper and just say, you know, Rotary, this is what Rotary has done. Because I think if you if you added up everything Rotary has done in this community, I bet you we we've, we've raised uh, five to ten million dollars in this community, and it. Not some of it went international. Some of it went to uh, whatever other air things people wanted to do. But the majority of the money was spent right here in this community, and uh, and, and the exchange, st exchange students. Can you imagine the, how many exchange students have, have come and gone from this community? And that's a big one. My opinion is a, a club that will improve your way of doing things in life, will improve your relationship with people, and also get you involved in the community. Some people live in the community and never get involved with anybody. But I think Rotary Make gets you involved with other people. You meet other interesting people. You meet type of people that you want to associate with. Uh, and I think it, if, and it's not just yourself, your family gets involved in it, you know, your wife is involved in it, your kids get involved in it, uh, different functions or something like that, and maybe they go into Rotary. But I think Rotary internationally, that is one organization that has done, look at this polio thing, like all over the world. You know, it's, Rotary is damn near going to cure polio in the world. And you know, just to be part of that. and. Uh, it's, it's one club, and the other thing I like with Rotary, like, there's so many people coming after you to donate money and donate money there, donate money here, and just think of it, like I could name some, some real uh, popular organizations that raise money, but you know how much money goes to where the end user is? About 10%. 90% is overhead and staffing, and just creating a, a, a business to hire, to put people to work, and 10% goes to where it should go. In Rotary, I find that if we send $20,000 some African country or Pacific Rim country, it's going right to another Rotary club, and it's, you know that 100% of that money is going to where you want it to go. And I think that's, I don't think there's too many clubs that can say that. I think most of the money is, spent through overhead and somebody getting paid to run the thing and the Rotary Club, nobody's paid to do anything. It's all donated time.